there was always space to be next to me. Every lunchtime, for 40 minutes, we sat tracing circles on each other's palms, oblivious. You dipped your hands in sincerity, placed love hearts in every crease so I could feel the marks glow and pull me back when stress gripped me. And I wore you down a couple of times. Believed I was too young for your smile to be my favourite thing, for your laughter to trickle onto corners of my diary so I tore through the pages before the end could meet me. I shredded your heart when I could no longer hold it. Kept strands of it in my pocket, played with the burnt edges from time to time, let you flick a dampened hope even though I spread our ashes all over the playground for classmates to draw tomorrow's headlines with. Your knees cracked and you collapsed onto the tarmac. I held your gaze long enough to see neglect crawl under your eyelashes and wave. Hello. Whisper. Through glass eyes when love was crumpling your insides and while you try to cling on and leave prints on my skin, I wiped them with wet fingertips before they could stick but welcome the next marker to plot heartache onto my chest and you watched tongue frozen, but knees still aching, moving between first and second period. And though you align parts of me that would have grown to be fragmented and shown self-love into my eyes until it radiated between my feet and my forehead, I fled, conceited footsteps and grin. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being the riddle that you always got wrong. For never handing you a form enough to simplify me into a form where you could love me and never feel stuck. And I scribble lecture notes up north and down south, you probably fall asleep in yours. But I hope the fractures I drew into your legs have healed up and you find romance somewhere between Big Ben and Mile End. And I hope you find someone who won't love you like an optical illusion. These pathways will only ever lead to 